Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the armature resistance control. So, the armature resistance control. Actual, this topic is related related to the speed control of DC motor. So, in this, how we can control the speed of the DC motor by using the armature resistance? We have the very good relation between speed and armature is like this. Speed is proportional to E B by inversely proportional to flux. So if you observe here, we have two things are available. So just to understand the speed control, I will consider the machine is the DC shunt machine. So this is the armature and we have an external resistance. So this is not series, this is the external resistance and we have the shunt winding and the armature resistance A and AA and this is the armature current and the supply voltage okay the we have field to get the field it will take the shunt current and the field have some resistance shunt resistance external resistance is available to control the armature resistance these are the things so we can find out the back emf directly that is so back emf is generated in this armature we can write the formula for the back emf back emf is nothing but this is the to total voltage minus armature drop plus external drop this is the total voltage minus armature drop plus external drop external is the rheostat or resistance so by using this we can we can control the things so finally we can write the speed is proportional to the v minus ia into ra plus external resistance by which is proportional to t so here we are using only armature control that's why keep the flux control is constant this is the constant so just look at here if you increase this external resistance then what happen this total term will be decreases whenever the total term will be decreases means what about the speed speed will be decreases so so by increasing the external resistance external resistance means the armature resistance the speed is decreases speed is decreases so that is the thing here only so just look at here and external resistance added series field armature circuit therefore the net voltage across armature reduces and speed can be controlled below rated value speed can be controlled below rated value so we can control the speed like that below rated value so simply we can write the formula and what about the armature current so the armature current we can write total voltage minus back emf by this external resistance just look at here here back emf is generated across the armature and we need to find out the armature current here to find this armature current this drop this drop by this resistance so we will get like this so here we have some problem with this when external resistance will be increases the armature resistance will be decreased so it will affect on the armature current okay so what about flux what about flux so we can write another condition that is when external resistance will be increases the speed will be decreased and back emf will be decreases and total v minus eb will be decreases total v minus eb will be increases actually this part will be increases this part will be increases so just observe here here uh, this part will be increases and automatically and this part will be yeah, both will be increases 
this part this part both will be increases so so numerator numerator decrement and denominator decrement both are same numerator and denominator denominator so numerator decrement denominator decrement both are same so both will be same so that's fine there is no change in armature current armature current also practically armature current is also constant armature current is also constant so by doing this we will get with flux will be constant and armature current is also constant both will be constant therefore torque is flux and armature current so here flux is constant and armature current is also constant the total there is no change in torque torque will also be constant so next we can write under armature resistance control the machine behaves as constant torque variable power drive this works as a constant torque and variable power drive so here so just look at here here the controlling of the speed will be below rated speed so in this area the power will be increases and torque will be the constant power will be uh, slightly increases and torque will be constant okay and this is below rated speed this is for the below rated speed okay right so we can write one equation that is just look at here if you observe there the relation between the torque with the speed and the power is like this here the power is proportional to speed and the torque speed and the torque and torque will be constant power is proportional to the speed power is proportional to the speed that means when speed increases then automatically the power is also increases the reason is here torque is the constant torque is the constant from this so we can get one relation like this for example if we have the two speeds the one speed is n2 that is eb2 by phi2 and under speed is n1 eb1 by phi1 so in the both the cases flux will be constant why it is constant flux will be constant because it is a shunt field it is a shunt shunt means flux will become the constant flux will become the constant Both the cases flux will become the constant and so finally we can write the n2 by n1 is nothing but eb2 by eb1 eb2 by eb1 that means speed is proportional to the back emf directly in this case the speed is proportional to the back emf directly that means so when the back emf is varies speed will be varies and so we can write here eb2 means for example if your external resistance is added i will write replacing the eb2 like this 
armature resistance plus external resistance by V minus IA RA. So this is N2 by N1 equal to 1 minus IA RA by V. So finally we will get the speed regulation is like this. The speed regulation is like this. That is N2 with external resistance and N1 without external resistance. Without external resistance. So finally we can conclude that the speed regulation is N1 minus N2 by N1 that is 1 minus N2 by N1. So finally we can write the speed value equal to 1 minus N2 by N1 we can write 1 minus IA RA by V. So that is IA RA by V. So this is called as the speed regulation called as the speed regulation okay this is about the speed control of the DC motor by using the armature resistance control I hope all of you understand the session thank you